Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to conquer the elusive French Manny with dip powder. You should always start with prepping your nails. I've already prepped my nails with peel base, so I'm going to go right into products and application. So Virgo and Gem um, has a couple of products for French Manny's. This is a French Manny dip tray. It is not required, but I find it incredibly helpful for this type of technique. I'm going to be using Virgo and Gem Dip Liquids. This is the activator and their base coat. I'm going to finish my Manny a little bit later using their gels. This is their gel base, and I'm going to be using the gel top. You can use dip liquids if you want. You don't need to use gel. I'm a gel kind of girl, so that's the route I'm going to go. I'm going to start by pouring in this white dip powder into the dip tray. You can keep your white dip powder in this dip tray all the time if you really wanted to. Don't be afraid to fill this up because anything you have left over, you can pour right back into the dip jar. So I'm going to give it a good amount. I want to make sure that I have enough in there so I can comfortably get my finger in um, without having to go at a downward angle because that will create a more straight smile line, which you can totally do if that's your jam. I like a more curved smile line, so that's the route I'm going to go today. This is the pink powder that I'm gonna use. It's on the darker side of the pink spectrum. So if you like that very dark pink and white look, this is the one I'd recommend. If you're a more natural French girl, I would highly advise going with the other colored pink dip powder. So I'm gonna start my application here. I'm gonna go from cuticle to free edge. This will vary depending on the length and shape of your nails. If you have longer nails or extensions, you may want to build up your nail a little bit before you start your general application. You can do that with color or with clear. But for my nails, I'm going to do what I usually do, which is a full coat of the base. And I'm going right into the white dip powder. And I'm going as straightforward as possible to get a curved smile line. And I'm going to let it sit there and marinate for a good couple of seconds. Very, very gently tap off excess with my finger pointed down. And then I'm going to go back in to make sure that base is completely absorbed with powder because we're going to pour over the pink powder and I don't want the white powder to turn pink. So you want to make sure that's nice and saturated. Now I'm going to grab my pink powder and it's important to not dip your finger into the pink powder. I'm going to tell you why. If you have excess white powder, we're not brushing anything off yet. So you're going to have excess white powder on your nail tip and if you go dunking your finger into that pink powder, white powder has a good chance of coming up over that smile line and then you're not going to have that classic French smile line. It'll look a little bit more like an ombre. So I'm going to go ahead and pour over and we're going to repeat this entire process. Before I do that, I'm going to go around my cuticles with a cuticle stick. This will just help me keep my cuticle line as clean as possible. will help you out later on with filing. So I'm going to do that brush off excess and repeat the process. I'm gonna let you guys watch and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. I did want to make mention of one thing while I'm doing my second layer of the French colors. When you go to put your finger in the white again, you have to line it up perfectly with the smile line from the first coat. It's not difficult because you already have that guide as your smile line, but if you don't line it up perfectly, it can look uneven or shadowy, so you want to make sure you're doing that. So now that I've gotten the second layer on, you have the option at this point to encapsulate and clear, which I would recommend just to protect your French Manny from filing and buffing. After that, you can go in with activator. I like to apply two generous coats of activator to all of my dip Manny's. I find that just is a little insurance policy that when I go to file and buff, my nails are completely cured. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go off camera, finish the rest of my nails, file and buff, and you're gonna see through the magic of editing that all my nails are now finished. And now you can go in with whatever activator and top coat you want. If you wanna do the dip route, activate, and then your two coats of dip top coat. 
I'm gonna go the gel polish route because that's just the way I normally do it. And I'm gonna start with the gel base. This I found to be a very good trick to keep your gel top coat from peeling. If you ever had your gel top coat peel at the free edge, it's probably because your dip nails are too smooth. And I find that using the gel base really gives something for the gel top coat to adhere to and can prevent your top coat from peeling and thus lasting a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my gel base on, give that a quick 30 second cure, and then I'm gonna finish my mani with my gel top coat, give it a full 60 second cure, and then we're gonna be done. So I'm gonna let you guys watch me finish up this mani with my gel top coat, and I'll be back with you guys for the final look. So here is the finished Manny. I went ahead and applied my cuticle oil and now we're ready to go. I hope this was helpful, I hope you found it interesting, and I hope it inspired you to give French Manny a try. Don't be afraid of it, once you get the hang of it, you're going to rock it. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you, bye!